What's going on, my PT peeps? My Walking Dead family and my fighters. I'm One Eye Bright, also known as PT. You don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about The Walking Dead Season 11 and whose grave is this? Spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead. All the episodes, AMC, AMC Plus, every episode so far. Spoiler warning. So, in Season 11, Episode 7, we're going to see this scene. Negan, Father Gabriel, Maggie, and Elijah. And they're looking down. And the arrow is pointing to what looks to be a grave. But whose grave? Hit that subscribe button, like, share, subscribe, support the PT channel any way that you can. I want to give a shout out to my patrons, members, and subscribers. Now, per Rotten Tomatoes, Promises Broken, Season 11, Episode 7, is the title, Maggie and Elijah Learn a New Survival Tactic from Negan. Eugene's group clears walkers to pay their fines. Yumiko interviews for an upper-class job. Daryl learns more about Leah and the Reapers. Gabriel encounters a man of God. And in the trailer, these are all gonna be stills from the trailer. And I just highlighted the stuff with this group, Daryl, Leah, and the Reapers, not the Commonwealth, because that's not gonna have any connection with this right here, in my opinion. But at first glance, I'm like, is this Alden's grave? Is this one of Maggie's people's graves? Or is it the guy, the man of God, that Father Gabriel comes across, he takes out the person, and they bury him here? The guy that's connected with Pope, I'm guessing, is the man of God. But the fact that Maggie and Elijah are looking down means something to me, like they knew this person. So I'm going with it's either Alden or someone from her group. Now we're gonna see the Reapers, we're gonna see what they're all about, or at least a closer look into the Meridian. Looks like they can make their own food, they have crops, and it's always good to get a closer look with the Reapers for the story, the Meridian, to really buy into what we're selling here. But ultimately, we're gonna see a showdown for this food right here, because Alexandria needs it. Looks like Maggie is talking to Negan, or we're made to think that in the trailer, like, what would you do differently? What did you change? Or you would change some things? And I believe Negan says yes, because there's not much to fight for anymore. And it's crazy to think, if everybody just worked together, and they didn't wanna hurt each other, they could have so much food and they could be surviving together with all the different communities. But the wars and the whispers and the saviors and everything, it was just pretty terrible for all the different communities. But that's probably what happened just like we saw. Now I'm guessing this is the man of God that Father Gabriel will interact with because he does have a priest vibe with the reapers and when the person died before, he was kind of saying their last rites. And also you see Father Gabriel here stalking this guy like an animal, like a lion ready to stalk his prey, right? He's just ready to take this guy out. He's got a knife or a sword or his ice pick. I'm guessing it's a long knife, but what does he do to this guy? Father Gabriel's not messing around, right? Pope is telling everybody like, you should feel ashamed. You lost your brothers. Your brothers are down. Is he talking about the guy he burned? Cause that's, you did that Pope, no one else but you. Then we see Maggie with the whisper skin mask. Where'd they get this from? Was this Negan's mask? I mean, did they kill a walker, skin it, and they made a mask just like that? It would take some time, but it's pretty cool that Negan is actually teaching Elijah and Maggie, and I guess Father Gabriel too, the skills from the Whispers, because at the end, I'm guessing this is Maggie right here, going towards the Meridian, or is it Carol? Is it Lydia? It's kind of hard to make out, but I'm guessing they're hurting the walkers to take to the Meridian to take it down. We're gonna see Daryl and Leah looking at someone here. They're pointing at their guns. Well, at least Leah has her shotgun, double barrel shotgun pointed at someone. And then they're going through walls and they're going through places. And who are they going after here? Is there gonna be a showdown with her, Carver and Daryl? Is it a setup? What is going on here with Leah's face? It's like she's upset about what is she about to do and don't make me do this. But we'll have to see how it goes down and I can't wait to see 1107. But ultimately, who is in this grave? Who do you think it is? To me, it makes the most sense to be one of Maggie's people and there'd be multiple graves around there. So we called it that all these people would go because they're red shirts, they're newbies, Maggie's wearing red. There's a bunch of different reasons why it happened and we caught it way back when. But could it be Duncan in that grave? Like I said, there'd be multiple graves of them. I would assume that Maggie wants to bury her people. But did she really go back to this location where she put down Duncan so he didn't turn? I would assume Elijah would help her, Father Gabriel would probably help her, and Negan would probably put up a fight, but he would probably help her too. Also, Agatha could be an option. It's probably all the bodies that they could get. Probably the walkers devoured her body, and that may be what Maggie is using, the Whisper Skin Mask, 
four to go in and get the body and bring it back. Remember when we thought Alden was this person who got bit? That was my initial theory. And then I went with Agatha and then it was Agatha. As for Alden, I think Alden's gonna die. But did they go back to the church and Alden died? So he was a walker and they put him down and then they buried him? Could be, I could see that happening. And I really hope it's answered in the first part. Like this was season 11, episode three, that this happened. And I recently made a video asking about what happens with Alden. Does he live? Does he die? Does he get captured by the Reapers? You know, he wasn't in good shape here. He was sliced open pretty good and he's not looking too good here. So it just makes sense that he's gonna die. And then our group goes back and it's too late. But who is in this grave? There's a lot of people wondering, speculating, and putting around some rumors who's in the grave. I like how Negan's next to the tree and he's like, yep, I didn't care about these people. They didn't care about me. So it could be anybody. Negan's kind of looking out for himself. So whoever's there is like, whatever, dude. Yep, I did my part. Let's get out of here. But who do you think is in this grave? Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. And we'll find out in season 11, episode 7 that airs this Sunday on AMC Plus and then a week later on AMC. But I'm really enjoying season 11. How about you? Stay safe. And as always, tell them, Daryl. Yeah, we love